everyone. Welcome to our last Wellness Wednesday of the year, which is really sad, but also really exciting because that means we're almost out with school. So, you know, it's okay. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Maddie Marasa. And I'm May. Um, and yeah, today we're going to be talking about for our last topic, um, Maddie and I, as well as the rest of the peer educators, are going to be graduating, which is has a lot of feelings um, that we are going to talk about today in case if um, you're graduating or if you know somebody that's graduating and you want to have better insight on how you can support them, um, we're definitely here to do that. So, yeah. We felt that this is something that really is relevant because like Maddie said, this is our last Wellness Wednesday and um, there's a few weeks left. That means a few weeks left of graduation. So it's a lot of things. Um, so first off, um, one of the first things we're gonna talk about is how we're both feeling. So Maddie, how do you feel about graduating? <laughs> um, a lot. <laughs> I'm the first person in my whole family to graduate. Uh, my parents both went to community college for a little bit, uh, but they didn't graduate. And I'm the oldest sibling, so I'm like, I have to do this because if I do it, then my little siblings will, which uh, my two of my sisters are in college right now. So it's not like they're not going to, but it just feels like there's kind of a lot of eyes looking at me being like well if Maddie can do it then I can do it so I'm like I have to finish which is really hard because senioritis is real and I don't want to finish these last few assignments but I'm doing it um also I feel like because of COVID it feels a little bit underwhelming in a way like it kind of feels like we're not graduating I feel like I've been sitting here staring at my computer for a year and not doing as much as I usually would but it still is happening and I still am excited. And I'm excited to have the degree and just have this accomplishment. But at the same time, I am sad that I didn't get to have a senior year the way that I was envisioning with all my friends and getting to see everyone. So a little bit sad, but for the most part, I'm excited. What about you? Um, yeah, I have very similar feelings as well. Um, I too in the first one to graduate. Um, me and my family actually figured out that I'm the first one to graduate on my whole grandmother's side. Um, literally everybody like just hopped right into work or they went to college but didn't finish. Um, I only have one other cousin that is currently in college but she's younger than me so she's I believe in her junior year now, could be wrong. Um, so that's a whole lot of pressure because um, I remember for the longest time that they, they're telling me that I should get my PhD and this and that, um, but I'll go later into what my career goals are. Um, but there's definitely a lot of pressure because I know a lot of this side of the family is gonna be watching. Um, as well as my dad's side, like a lot of my dad's side of the family, they, um, they have degrees and everything, but um, they support me so much because of my dad's passing that like, you know, they want to support their, one of their most favorite aunt, uncle, cousin, whatever it may be, their daughter. So um, there's pressure on that as well. So there's a lot of nerves, but um, with all that being said, I am excited and thankful that I have gotten this opportunity to get my degree because um, I know a lot of my family didn't have that option um, and I looking back at it now with all of their great support it really makes me happy that I do have that family connection with them and that I do have people watching um, even though it's going to be totally different than we imagined this year but um you know, it's, it's still something that they're proud of and that they're happy to at least see me get my um, degree. So it's definitely something worth it. So yeah. 
for sure. I relate to all of that. It's definitely like anxiety and excitement all in one confusing so um it's also kind of weird to think that like in a couple of weeks we're not going to be college students anymore like that that is crazy I feel like for so long so much of our identity at once you're in college that is your identity as soon as you go somewhere and someone finds out you're in college that's all they ask you they're like how's school how's your degree like so what are you going to do now that you're not a college student um, so for me, what I ended up doing, I had a lot of different things I wanted to do after college. Um, but I've decided that I'm going to take a gap year. Um, it was definitely something that took a lot of thinking into taking into consideration because I know a lot of people say that it's so hard to go back to school once you're done with it. Um, and I had friends who were like, you shouldn't take a gap year. And then I had other people who was like, oh, maybe you should. But it really took down to talking to my mom about it. Um, my mom, little her, she doesn't have a degree, but my mom is definitely my biggest supporter. Um, and she was like, if you feel like you need to take a gap year, I am 100% with you. And I think, you know, I support it. And what really helped me understand that I did need it was honestly my mental health. Um, doing school online for an entire year was super stressful and something that really made me notice I can't do online school. And um, of course, with the unknown of being online next year or not, um, when I was making this decision, I was like, I can't do my degree online because I want to be, you know, into that very um, dedicated. Um, so definitely taking a breather for the year, but um, I currently do work. I work at Target. So um, I have great coworkers and whatnot, but I think me staying in cowork no, staying in Target for the year is going to make me want to go back to school because retail is a thing that I can't do forever <laughs> so um I think that will really help motivate me to go back to school which I plan to go back um fall of 2022 uh to end up getting my master's in child life because my dream career is to be a child life specialist so um those are my plans for at least the next year <laughs> um what about you? I know. I honestly props you because I don't know how you're doing all of this with a time difference too. That makes it so much harder. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'm going straight into grad school because kind of like you said, it's for some people, it's hard to go back into school. And I definitely know that if I took a break, I'd appreciate it too much and I wouldn't want to go back. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the problems I'm currently encountering that I'm sure a bunch of people can relate to is finding housing because uh, AP only has undergraduate housing. I'm going to grad school at APU. And um, I have a somewhat of a plan of living with a couple of friends, but we're gonna have to finalize that more because all of my family is far away in Oregon. And um, I don't think that's the most realistic. I don't wanna move up there. That's that's a future me problem. But yeah, I want to work with kids in high risk settings, like specifically juvenile detentions. So I'm trying to get my master's in counseling with a focus on children and adolescents. And I'm really excited about that. APU had a really good program that kind of lined up exactly with that. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully it'll be good. I'm excited to see what it looks like because APU announced that they're opening again. So if it is in person, I don't even remember what being in a classroom is like at this point. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm currently working at a small business lending institution, which is really random and not anything to do with psychology. But they are hiring because of the pandemic. They needed extra hands on deck. And so I'm hoping to keep working there, fingers crossed, for as long as they'll keep me. It's um, a very random job, but it's... I like it and I can do it at home. So I'm hoping to stay. That's great. Um, I mean, <laughs> I stock food. That's completely different. Like I can't 
understand the feelings of an orange, but like I can certainly know when it's going bad. <laughs> so I, yeah, I totally feel you on that. Um, but I feel like having those, you know, these random jobs or whatnot, things that feel kind of out of place, um, kind of brings up to think about others who are watching who are graduating and might have, you know, very similar feelings to us, like, um, I am having trouble with housing, or I'm not sure what's going to be next for me. Um, one of the points that Maddie and I wanted to make was that um, the cur our current generation is very different from back then. Or what we mean by that is back when our parents were at this age, at least I know for my mom, um, she was helping raise her six other siblings and she moved out of her house at age 18. She had her own job. Like she was basically doing everything that I don't think I'm going to do until like a few years from now. Um, so it's, it shifted a lot in terms of the pressure of moving from home and whatnot. Um, all that to say that it's okay if you end up moving back home with your parents. Um, I know a lot of people who are 21, 22, whatever it may be, who right now, especially with COVID and having a hard time with jobs that it's really difficult to find housing um, in general, really, but right now even more harder, especially with jobs as well. And um, it's okay if you feel like you have to move back with your family um, because your family is there to support you or whoever it may be that you consider family. Um, I know for my mom, at least for me, I'm going to stay here in Massachusetts for another year. Um, and my mom was like, that's totally fine. She's like, as long as you're working <laughs> um, to help pay the bills. But um, the pressure of that has really shifted a lot. So yeah, that yeah. was one of the points that we wanted to make. Anything else you think you can add, Maddie? Yeah, it's definitely okay to do what works best for you. And I feel like it's important to not get boggled down comparing yourself to other people. Um, I've, everyone knows that social media is fake. What your friends are posting is not necessarily how happy their lives are all the time. And everyone is having problems at some point in their life. And it's okay to not know exactly what you're going to do after graduation. I have no idea what the next six months of my life are going to look like. And that's okay. You don't have to have an exact plan. You don't have to have a house. You don't have to be getting married right now. Um, I, don't, I don't know anyone our age who can afford a house right now. So, you know, I wish that we were living back in our parents' generation sometimes just because my dad had a house when he was like 19 and that I wish that's so crazy to think. in California too I, I don't get it but I I wish yeah the economy back then <laughs> when I see like the gas prices I'm like imagine that but my mom was like yeah but minimum wage is like nothing I said yeah I know but what if we had today's economy and those prices <laughs> like yeah. that would be a dream um yeah for sure um yeah definitely what maddie said is so true like um just because you see something on the internet doesn't mean that that's necessarily what's happening um and i know i know for me and maybe maddie you can speak on it but there's a lot of our friends who are, you know, getting married or whatnot. And it's so great to see because, um, of course, you're happy for your friends. But then sometimes I feel pressured, like, shouldn't I be getting married right now? Like, I'm like, wait, am I at that age? Am I missing something? Um, but there was, there was a quote or some kind of graphic I saw one time where it was like everybody's path is different. Like, there's adults in their 30s who are just now getting their bachelor degrees. Um, there's people who, you know, like us at our age have started families. Um, and it's like everybody's path is different because um, 
all to say that God didn't have a set plan. Like, all right, everybody, at 18, you're going to do this, and 19, you're going to do that. Like, that's just not how life works, and everybody's lives are different. Um, so don't feel like just because you see your friends or family are getting married or starting their own families at your age doesn't mean that you necessarily have to be doing that as well. Um, because everybody's paths are different, and that's okay. And the future, as we have learned in this past year, is uh, very changeable and unpredictable. And um, all you need to do is take it day by day, do your best, and that'll be it. So, yeah. I think you hit the nail on the head with that one. That's perfect. Yeah, just, I know as hard as it is, it's important not to get boggled down comparing yourself to everyone else um and also yeah I wish the best for all of my beautiful friends getting married and I still feel like I am 16 sometimes and still call my dad to ask him how to like know if a chicken is fully cooked so everyone's path is for sure different and that is that's perfectly okay mm -hmm. yeah for yeah, so. sure. Um, well, I believe that is everything that Maddie and I had for you guys today in regards to um, graduation and how we feel and what does the future hold. And um, yeah, I, it's bittersweet that this was our last Wellness Wednesday. Um, yeah. But to close out, um, we, I, and Maddie and the rest of the peer ed educators. Um, definitely thank you guys for tuning in with us for the entire year to our Wellness Wednesdays, Cougars Cares, um, all the other stuff that we did in between, um, especially with it being online, which is something we totally didn't plan originally as becoming peer educators. Um, it was really nice to see the support still from all of you. Um, I don't think, I'm ever going to be able to express how thankful we are um, because we really are. Uh, you know, we put a lot of a lot of time and effort into those things, and it's we're glad to see that it got you know feedback. Mm -hmm. um, and the best part is that because it was on our IGTVs or for our Cougars Cares, it's on our YouTube. It'll be up forever, so <laughs> you'll see our faces forever um so if you want to go back and watch topics a year from now when it's midterm season and you want to go back and watch our wellness wednesday on that um you definitely can because it's highlighted and you can definitely find it um so anything else you wanted to add maddie before we close out uh just that we're both super thankful for the counseling center too and if anyone has any difficult feelings about graduating and anything going on in your life right now, the Counseling Center is here for you. So feel free to reach out to them because I know that there's a lot of emotions happening. Um, but yeah, it's been a great year and I feel very lucky to have been able to do it with everyone here. So thank you. All right. Well, we, uh, we, me and Maddie, won't see you, but you will see our new peer educators next year. So um, we have one more uh, Mental Health Monday next week. And after that, that'll be it. So thank you so much, guys. And remember, counseling at AP is free. So don't forget. All right. Bye. Bye, guys.